when you're fishing dry fly upstream on chalk streams, in fact on any stream, but particularly on chalk streams where it's gin clear, remember you're playing the stealth game. If you've, if you've met a hatch situation and there's fish rising, it's very tempting for beginners, well even experienced anglers, to see a good fish ahead and start ripping off line, trying to make long cast double hauling. That's a nonsense. Remember, you're a stalker, you're picking off the back markers all the time. Work upstream and only have off enough line that you can control. It's no use having umpteen yards of line off if you can't set the hook and play the fish correctly. And stealth isn't just a matter of being stealthy with your wading, it's being stealthy with your fly. Remember, that's going to give as many danger signals as you. If that fly behaves in a manner which causes alarm to the fish, you've blown it. And one thing that a lot of people, particularly beginners, do when they pick off is they do that. They pick off with a spritz. Now, if you do that when you pick off, and a lot do, that is as bad as you stumbling when you're wading. That second one I did spooked two fish in there. What you've got to do is pick off in such a manner that the fly just clips, just kisses off the surface without hardly any disturbance. And you do that with a snap roll. Just let the D form behind you and just tap it high and forward. I'll do that again. You follow the fly down, taking in line with your line hand. Stop recovering, drop your rod back and tap forward. And when you tap forward, don't tap forward in a roll cast, rolling it, trying to roll it on the water. Tap forward high. What you're doing is you, you're kicking that fly high into the air and the fly will come off and it will not leave a trace on the surface. Just drop your rod back and aim high. And it comes off literally without scratching the surface. Drop your rod back and aim high and then pick off. So, it's what I call sitting the fly on its backside. It comes down, you drop your hand back, make the D and snap high and then pick off. So you can do this, so you just work away up the runs, let the D form, So don't, don't try doing it up where the target is. If you miss a fish, don't try doing it. Let the fly drift on, let the D form behind you, and knock the forward loop in. It's a very, very neat and easy thing to learn, easy thing to do, and it's another essential skill of dry fly fishing. <laughs>